Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video we are going to solve a geeks for geeks problem. So this is the problem of the day. The problem is merge sort, right? So I guess most of you must be aware of merge sort algorithm. Like if not, then we are going to cover everything in depth in this video itself. Then make sure to watch the complete video. Also, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed our channel till now, then guys make sure to subscribe our channel. It will really motivates me to make more such content for you and definitely we are putting up the content so that the content will be helpful for you so make sure to subscribe our channel and do join our telegram channel as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself right so let's understand the problem statement now well merge sort is a sorting algorithm itself right you you must be knowing that there are many sorting algorithms like is bubble sort selection sort insertion sort merge sort quick sort right so merge sort is just one of them right so what you have to do is basically at the end you have to basically sort an array that's what you have to do by using merge sort so an array arr is given to you it's a starting position l and it's ending position r so starting index as well as ending index is provided to you you have to sort the array using merge sort algorithm example if this is the array given to you so on sorting what will be the resultant array one three four seven nine that's what we are getting similarly in this case as well this is the array given to you on sorting what will be our array so that will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 19 and that's what we are so whatever task is we have to complete the function merge which takes array l m r as its input parameters and modifies array in place such that it is sorted from position l to position r and function merge sort which uses merge to sort the array in ascending order using merge sort algorithm expected time complexity is big of and login you must be knowing that merge sort uses the like the time complexity in case of merge sort is big of and login and ex expected auxiliary space is big of n um now merge sort is basically depends or based on the approach that is divide and conquer algorithm so it is based on the divide and conquer approach so let's understand the merge sort first and then we'll be moving to the coding part okay so let's suppose this is the array given to us nine consisting of elements nine 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. On sorting, what you'll be getting is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Right? So let me put the index number as well 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the eight elements in our array and we have to sort it. Right? So, first of all, there are two major operations in the merge sort. First one is the first one we have to divide it okay we have to divide it that's why it is based on divide and conquer so we have to divide our array so we'll be starting how we have to do this partition first we have to do the partition and then we have to merge that partition so let's understand the partition first that how we are doing the partition so we are going to divide our array in two halves okay so how we are going to divide this this is the first index and this is the last index so we are going to find the middle element so seven plus zero divide by 2 you will be getting 3 so this is the middle element that we have got so we are going to divide our array in two parts first so on dividing it we will be having 9 8 7 5 and another part is going to be 4 3 2 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 again you have to divide it so what will be the middle element now 3 plus 0 and you will be having 1 is the middle element this time so now our array will be divided like this 9 8 and here we'll be having 7 5. we have to continue this partition till the time there is just only one element remaining right till this time we have to continue this partition so here also if you're going to do the partition here you'll be getting 4 3 and here you will be getting 2 1. still you can see we have two elements remaining so further partition we have to continue now we have 9 8 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, as if you can see, this array cannot be partitioned further. So, partitioning has been done. Next is merging. Merging. Partitioning and merging. These are the two operations in merge sort. So, how we are going to merge it? So, you can see when there is only one element, that we can say that array is sorted. Right? Because it's just one element is there. So, that array is sorted for sure. So we are going to merge this array now. So this array is containing 9 and this array is containing 8. So we are going to merge this in a sorted manner. 
right so if you will check so obviously 8 is lesser than that of 9 so 8 will come first then 9 similarly here also we are going to merge it so 5 then 7 here also merge it 3 4 merge it 1 2 you can see now this chunk that we have this chunk of arrays that we do have this is also what sorted so we are simply doing what we are merging two sorted arrays that's what we can understand i'll be or i'll be telling that what basically the approach we use to merge two sorted array don't worry but as of now just understand the flow so now again you have to merge these two sorted array in such a way that the resultant array that we are going to get that should be sorted so first five will come then seven then eight then nine here also if you're going to merge so what you'll be getting is one two three four now you have two arrays which are sorted so finally we are going to merge these two arrays so what you'll be getting is one two three four five seven eight nine and that's what our resultant array is that's what our sorted array is right so we have achieved our task we have achieved our target right so there are two operations one is partitioning one is merging partitioning you must have understood how we are doing the partitions how we are doing the merging so let's understand that so let's suppose these are the two sorted given to us two sorted arrays given to us so how are we going to merge them we'll be having one pointer i for this array and another pointer j for this array this array is a this array is b let's say for understanding purpose now you will be checking if the ith element of array a is smaller we are going to consider it if the ith element of b is smaller we are going to consider it so which one is a smaller obviously one so we are going to consider it and then we are going to implement the value of j then again we are going to compare so this element is a smaller or this one obviously the jth one is a smaller so we are going to consider it and we will be implementing the value of j now again you are going to do the comparison so this ith element is a smaller or the jth one obviously ith one so let's consider it and increment the value of y again we will be comparing so 5 is a smaller or 7 is a smaller obviously 5 so 5 will be there and we will be incrementing the value of y now we have to compare again 6 is a smaller or 7 obviously 6 is a smaller so we are going to consider it i will be incremented let's do the comparison again 9 or 7 which one is smaller obviously 7 so we are going to consider 7 then j value will be incremented okay again we are going to do the comparison so which one is smaller obviously the 8 is smaller and now you can see we have exhausted all the elements of this array b so the remaining elements whatever the elements are remaining in this array a we can just have them as it is so 9 will be there so this is how you can see by following this process how we have merged two sorted arrays so this is the same algorithm that we're going to use to merge our arrays to merge our sorted arrays right after partitioning this is how we are going to merge them to achieve our resultant sorted array right so i hope the approach is clear to you so let's move to the code part now so here you can see we are having two functions one is merge sort and another one is merge so merge sort is basically doing the work of partitioning that i discussed now for partitioning also there is a condition that you should have two elements at least and we have to continue this partitioning till the time we are just left along with just one element so for one element further partitioning is not possible so we are having l as well as r we have to do this partitioning till the time L value is lesser than that of R and we are continuously finding out the mid because according to the mid element we are doing the partitioning right? uh, like you must have understood when we were discussing the approach so you can see this is this is we have calculated mid here then we have called this same function merge sort again for from L to mid and another merge sort call we have done for mid plus one up to R and at the last we have called this merge function to merge our array right now let's move to the code that we have written in the merge function so simply we are creating two arrays right the two sorted arrays example which i gave to you so two arrays we are creating the size of one array is m minus l plus one and that of another one is r minus m let's suppose this is also array remaining to us um so that you can you're not getting confused three five six nine this was one array and another let's take we were having one two seven eight so like if this one you're going to take so what is the what is the length here zero one two three zero one two three this is the length of what mid and here 
m is what middle element so 3 minus 0 plus 1 so you can see here are four elements and in this one also there are four elements so this we can determine the size by r value is what 7 7 minus 3 that is 4 so that's what we are doing here just to give you a sort of idea in case you are confused so so that's what we are doing here the size of array a is n1 and the size of array b is n2 now what we are doing is the values that are there in array arr because actual values are present in this arr right so we are just transferring these values to our array ai till the time i value less than that of n1 and the remaining values that we do have we are transferring these remaining values to array b of i so now a of i is a sorted array and b of i is a sorted array now our target is what to merge these sorted array to create a resultant array by merging these two, two sorted array which is also going to be a sorted array so that's what we are doing here we are taking three variables i initialized as zero j initialized as zero and k will is going to be initialized with the value of l right so what we are doing is we are continuing in this while loop till the time i value is less than that of n1 and j is less than that of n2 now we are comparing if i n a of i n is smaller than that of b of j n, so what i told you we are going to consider what a of i n element and then we are going to implement the value of uh, i that's what i am mentioning here i plus plus otherwise we are going to consider the j th element and we are going to implement the value of j if still there can be a possibility that the elements of one array has been exhausted whereas there are elements remaining in another array so that for this uh, for checking this condition we have put this two while loops here in case if array a is still remaining or in case if array b is still remaining so that's what we are doing by using this while loop and at the last we'll be getting our resultant array that is resultant sorted array so i hope the approach is clear to you so this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video keep learning keep coding bye bye don't forget to share and subscribe our channel